Hi guys, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to talk to you about caramelization with pralines. And for our ingredients, I have one and a half cups of toasted peanuts, pecans, one and a half cups of white sugar, three quarter cups brown sugar, three eighths of a, three -eighth of a cup of butter, uh, half a cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla ab 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 extract. Sorry. And you want to line a baking sheet with aluminum foil and set aside. Um, and you want to get a large saucepan over and put it over medium heat and combine all these ingredients in the saucepan. And see this all gets mixed around really well. Burning on you. And what's happening is the um, the sucrose and the sugar is being broken down into glucose and fructose, which are um, the reducing sugars. And the reducing sugars um, that just means that they have a reaction reacting atom that donates an electron to other molecules. Um, so these reducing sugars are reacting now with the heat by browning and releasing various aromas. Um, and the butter offers a creamy consistency, and the milk helps create a consistent temperature, which is really, which is really important to make sure this all cooks evenly and it doesn't burn on you. And the vanilla extract just helps to uh, add additional flavor. Um, but this takes about 20 minutes to cook, so we're going to cut it real quick, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back, and as you can see, uh, it's been on for about 10 minutes now, maybe a little bit longer, but it's bubbling. And we have a candy thermometer in here, and you want it to reach around uh, 235, which is the softball point for this type of candy. And um, 2, 235 Fahrenheit is just the point of caramelization for this, um, which is when the sucrose gets broken down, like we talked about earlier. And it's being reduced um, to the reducing sugars and the brown the browning occurs. Uh, so this is good to go. So you turn this off. By the way, make sure you're whisking it occasionally. Just make sure it's not um, burning on you. And then you um, take a sp large spoonful and you just put large dollops on this aluminum foil sheet. You could probably ideally get a larger spoon than this. And then once you get all of them on this sheet, uh, you set it aside until it cools down. And then um, you can enjoy it. Thanks guys.